We have spoken about this to so much length before. Mm. Yeah. What a worrying, worrying concept that women are still continuing to withdraw cases. Yeah. No, it, it is, and but it's never going to go away. I think, first of all, we have to be realistic that sometimes <coughs> domestic violence, it, it, it's a process. Mm -hmm. People have to be ready to get help. It's a, it's a lot of steps, and we have to help them along the way. But what we have to do is remove those roadblocks that stop people from actually seeing it through to getting the help that they need. Yeah. Now, the LAC gave a conference on, on the withdrawal of cases. Mm. Um, why this particular topic? And we, what was discussed? Yeah, we gave, we gave the presentation at the national conference. Um, it was, we were lucky. It was one that we were asked to present. We were invited okay. to present. But it was really on the basis of our research. We've done um, many studies. We've done a study on the implementation of the Rape Act, and the implementation of the Domestic Violence Act, and then a specific study on the withdrawal of rape cases. So we were very well placed to say that okay. we We've spoken to Namibia, we've been across the country, this is what's going on. And the reason is, we know that four in ten rape cases are withdrawn and one in five applications for protection orders are being withdrawn. So we have those numbers to work on yes. so we can then start to think, okay, what's going on, why is it happening? Now, based on your investigations, mm. what are the core issues? Why are victims um, withdrawing their yeah. cases? Well, we actually spoke, um, we focused on the withdrawal of rape cases. And we, we spoke <coughs> to, we did speak to some people who had been raped, but also the wider community. You know, why, why is this happening? And we actually came up with 70, well, we, we recorded 78 different reasons that we categorized. And, and so the top 10 main reasons were, first of all, the compensation. Withdraw your case. I'll pay you. Uh -huh. um, being pressured by your family. Mm. You know, don't you know? Don't do, please. You know, being told not to do that. Being ashamed that mm. you were raped. You don't want to talk about it. The rapist physically threatening the victim. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, mm -hmm. I'll do it again to you. I'll beat you up. Whatever it is. The feeling that the it's going to take too long to sort out. You know, I want to forget this. The rape. The, the whole procedure is going to take years. Yes. It yes, won't yes. go away. Um, feeling that you have insufficient evidence, it's my, my side against his side, who's going to believe me? Of course. Um, not having enough information about the process, so not understanding it, so giving up because you don't know what's going on and you, you, just, you just walk away. The rapist having a position of influence in the mm. society, I can't mm. report this, it's the council or the, you know, the mayor, oh, it, you know, it's, yes. a teacher, a head principal, you know, whatever it is, someone who... It's someone of importance, yeah. it's an important person. I can't yeah. speak out against them. Being bribed to withdraw their case and just being in a position of financial distress, so maybe they can't get to the police station, or maybe mm. they do accept um, gifts to make to make them stop. 